Well, you're talking about commercial 75,000 square feet, 50,000 square feet. There's not a lot of contractors at this level using automation. You're kind of in no man's land a lot of the time and you're just gapping from hub to hub and hoping you're there. To get on the machine, hook it up and turn it on and just drive the production so much faster. As long as you get the right amount of material in front of you, it's a one pass deal. The big benefits of the MC Mobile is we're not making a whole lot of mistakes because we're using tape and paint out here. We took our initial topo shots and then we sent it to the model builder to get designed for the CAD file. Well, a lot of times what we find is you'll have a great engineer, but he's getting bad information from an existing site topo or an old topo. You always notice things on site that you, you won't see when you're designing. It, it's just inevitable. If the information's wrong and we come out here and let's say we figure on a 200 yard export and we come out here and everything is, is a foot and a half cut, we know there's something wrong. So when Matt came out, he laid it all out and he said, over here we're, we're actually way lower than what you think we are in your existing grade. So it would help to pick things up. We lifted this site up a half a foot, which isn't a huge amount, but when you're talking about a half a foot over an acre, that's a lot of material, and that raises the sewer, that raises the storm, you know, the holes you're digging aren't as large. It just saves a lot of time and money in the long run to catch something as significant as the grading quickly. Having the knowledge, being able to actually shoot it up against the model and know how much to raise it up to save that customer money, save all that extra work, is priceless. When I finally realized that knows where you are on the job, it, it takes all the, the guesswork out of it. The blade knows where it's at, it knows the angle, it knows everything that you don't have to think about anymore. It gives me a little bit more peace of mind that the machine can control where the blade is. Once you get your elevation set, you can go anywhere on the site and know how much to cut and fill. With the model, I literally painted that line where that rock is off the edge of the blade. I just told him to drive down the edge of the curb, and it's perfect. You don't need years and years of experience grading or being a grade hop. You can kind of just hop in and go once you get it all set up and you're, all the numbers are correct. Anyone can do it. It's a pretty simple process. You start looking to the future. I don't see a lot of younger guys getting the hub setting experience and the grade hopping experience. It's going to take to run a grader blade, especially at this level. I can take a kid like Nolan who has limited knowledge of any of that if he's driving forward, he's on grade. There's no hubs, there's no hubs to, for him to rip out, there's no guessing for him which way the water goes. That right there is, it probably saves five years of training.